Hey guys, I'm the 50s Kid. Welcome back to the E53 project. In this video, we are going to tackle the rear airbags. They're pneumatic, they get pumped up with an air compressor, and so they're basically rubber on the outside, the rubber diaphragms essentially, and the rubber goes bad when they sit too long or if they just get too old. So that's what's happened to this car. We're just gonna swap them out. So let's get started. All right guys, as you see, I've got the rear wheels off and this is our airbag right here. This is the guy that, uh, this particular one is the, is the one that's leaking, but might as well change both of them while we're in here. So we definitely need to get the wheel off in order to do that, but we're gonna need to release the airbag from inside the car. Before you work on your airbag system, it's a good idea to disable it. Um, if you take this panel off right here, you've got, uh, you've got some extra fuses back here. It tells you that the air suspension is fused 79 and 87, which is a 7.5 fuse and a 30 amp fuse. So I pulled them already. There's a 30 right here and a 7.9 right here. So I've just got those fuses here, disable the thing. So this vehicle is fully loaded. It's got this little sliding tray guy. And um, unfortunately I've been taking a look. It's just gonna kind of be in our way because um, we need to get this part out. You see, I've already taken this piece of trim out actually, because I was trying to investigate and see if this, uh, see how feasible this was. So uh, I need to get this piece out because the airbag is, the connection's right underneath, uh, underneath this piece. It seems straightforward enough. I already kind of pulled off a fastener in the back there. It's just like those little plastic clip. I pulled one off from right here. And this piece of uh, trim holds it in. That's just right here two tens right there and it just kind of comes out fairly easily so that's easy you see it kind of it holds it down right here but I was trying to pull this out of here and it's really it's not going to come out so unfortunately I got to remove this thing first I, I, I don't think anybody else really has one of these but hey let's try to let's cover taking it out anyway <laughs> Um, I, it looks to me like this, this just kind of, these are two captive washers here that kind of hold it on. I think if I take those off, I'll be able to slide the table out and then I can just get the brackets out super easy. Gonna come out. Yeah, it is. This thing's heavier than it looks. So those were five millimeter Allens right there. These are all gonna be six millimeter Allens. Looks like we got two here and then two in the back on each side. I might wanna, well, you know what? I was thinking I was gonna scratch the location of these brackets in to the metal right here. That's one way to just sort of locate them. But then it occurred to me that the washer probably made an indentation on the metal as well. So that'll also help me to reposition it. So I think I'm just gonna go that way. Yeah, somebody put like Loctite on those. I don't know why. Not, not the sort of thing, not the sort of fastener that's gonna back out. I'll bet this was a dealer installed option or something. <laughs> what a moron. It looks like red Loctite too. Ooh, some uh, coffee beans here or something that spilled. <laughs> if you're gonna use Loctite, use blue. Blue is good enough. That's easy. I wanna take a minute to thank this week's sponsor, oembimmerparts.com, who has graciously provided the parts for this video. Guys, if you need parts for your BMW, this is the place to get them. I love these guys because they have super fast shipping. They've got parts for all the late model BMWs. If you need parts, check out oembimmerparts.com. So like I said, there were two clips here and here they just, they just pull out. The one up there was like a, you unscrew the middle part with a screwdriver and then you pull it out. This other one, you just, Pull it out with a little tool. Hopefully I can get this out now without having to take this panel off first. It would be nice, but I, something tells me probably not. I just, I don't know what the shape of anything is up in there, you know? I just don't know. Oh yeah, there's another fastener underneath this. So it looks like on mine, this one has to come out a little bit, this, this, uh, Great, this stuff has to come out. Why did they do that? I don't get it. Well, why was that necessary? Oh, yeah. Looks like this car also has this spare tire lift tray kind of thing. And that needs to come out of there, those two bolts back there before I can 
remove that, uh, that trim. Those are eight millimeter Allens. Disassemble this whole freaking car. Okay, I think we can get those little clips from the inside, pull off that piece of trim. Use these little pliers, super helpful. Helpful if you can see what you're doing. Come on. Stupid things. Oh, this is totally blind right here. Hang on. Should have done this before I raised the car. So there's a tip for you. There we go. Please don't tell me it's clipped on in the front. Packing peanut for some reason. Here. Lift this a little and I should be able to get at what I need to from the inside. I hope. Yeah, I should be able to. Yeah, so a little screwdriver. This one you unscrew the middle part and then it just kind of comes out. Very nice. And now this lifts right out, let's hope. Hopefully, feels like it wants to. Yay, yay. Well, that was easy. Might as well remove the other side while we're at it. You know, probably we need to have a, uh, a number one Phillips for these, but maybe I can just pull. Looks like we're getting it out the hard way. There we go. This time we'll use the number one. Looks like the whole clip is spinning. You don't want the whole clip to spin. Okay, that one does not want to come out at all. I don't know why BMW needed two different kinds of clips here. This a regular push pin one would have been fine. That's what I will replace it with because I have those. We need a new tool. This is crazy. Whew. That was unnecessarily difficult. What do we got in there? Yeah. Hopefully this just comes right out. No, nope, there's something in here. Okay. Two little plastic guys. So I'll put those in there. Probably one sort of in the middle there. Something here. No. Maybe this just, oh. There's a clip right there. That's what it is. See, they just should have used these ones everywhere because you can just pull them out and reuse them if you can get on them. Okay, there we go. Way more difficult than it needed to be. All right, it should be uh, much easier from this point on. So, this is when you get this rubber cap off in order to uh, access the shock. I see an arrow right here pointing this way, so I'll just uh, put it back on that way. Let's see if I can do this with my fingers. Oh yeah, it's pretty easy. That's super easy. Okay, um, there is a there's a little fitting right here. It's a 10 mil. I'm gonna loosen it because. This airbag almost certainly has pressure in it because it's not the bad one. So I want to bleed that pressure off for sure. See if I can fit this on here. This might not fit. This box wrench might be a little too... This uh, flare nut wrench might be a little too big here. Yep, so I need a standard wrench. Yeah, you don't need no special wrench. <laughs> I hear the air. I'm gonna take this all the way out. Mm. 
There we go. Now the air is out. All right, guys, you see those two little black ears there? There's like a little clip. You just kind of, looks like we grab those with a needle nose and compress them and then pull. Easy, super easy. So I believe at this point, the only thing holding it in are these two clips on either side and one more clip from underneath right there. Now, as you see, I've got my jack underneath here and I've got the suspension lifted so that the airbag is not extended. So what we're gonna do is probably pull that clip, get a, maybe a pry bar under there and kind of knock it out with a hammer. Uh, you get a screwdriver under there from the other way, whatever, whatever method we choose. We'll get the clip out, we'll get the clips out up top. We'll probably lower the suspension and that'll drop the airbag right out. I lied, I'm gonna pop the, the top clips out first. So, looks like these, you just, ah, the middle that you lift, easy. I'll get a close-up of that. Easy enough. This is what the clip looks like, and you just sort of, you need to slip your screwdriver between these two halves right here, between this, this opening, because you have to lift, let me show you. Hmm. Small screwdriver is probably better. You got to lift it sort of like that. <laughs> you got to slip your screwdriver in like that and lift up and then the clip slides right off. Pretty easy. All right, this is the best I can do for you guys. Yeah, easy enough. Let's lower the jack down. Ooh, super easy. It just comes right out the top. Hey, that's so easy. Very, very easy. It looks to me like these pins are offset. They're not exactly right in the middle. It looks like, you know, if this one's in the middle, this one's high, and then there's a little locating pin right here. So obviously this only goes in one way. On the bottom, not so much. It doesn't, you know, obviously it's in the right, it's in the one way from the top. They don't need more locating pins on the bottom. So this is the new part. It, uh, you know, it doesn't look as inflated on the outside just because it hasn't been inflated yet, but I've uh, confirmed it's the right part. <clears throat> and it, see how we have that little locating pin? You can actually see the spot where it goes. It goes on the sort of outside of the vehicle. So I'm gonna put this thing in like this. Um, it should turn fairly easily. So I think I'm gonna clip it in at the bottom first and then we'll kind of use the jack to lift it up and we'll move it into place and all that good stuff. All right, guys, what I found it easier to do, let me get the slide up here. What I found it easier to do was to slip the airbag in and then sort of get it aligned I was kind of turning it left to right until I could feel it slip up into place. And then I, ha you know, I had the jack in place ready to go and I lifted the jack up until it pinned the airbag into place. That way it's just held in place and now I can put the clips in at with ease. Okay, hopefully I won't block the light this way. So I'm gonna have to reach in this way, unfortunately, to get the pin in. I just put it in with my hand. It's super easy. The kit came with new clips for the top all the way around, even the black clip. I don't know that we need to change the black clip, but I'll use the new metal clips. Just slip those in. They slip in super easy. Yeah, this is the easiest part of the job here. <laughs> oh, right where the light is. Here we go. Just like that, let me pull this cover off. Yeah, I had it off a second ago and I only put it on lightly, but let me just grab the tip. There we go. So like I said, it comes with a new black clip, I guess in case you break it. Okay. Yep, 
Okay, can't pull it off of there. Slip the rubber back down. See that arrow was this way. So now we should just be able to Come on. Boom. Easy. So now let's put this fitting back in. And that is it. So I'm not going to film the other side because it's exactly the same as what you just saw. I am rapidly losing light here. So let me just do that and um, we'll finish this thing up. Okay. The other side is in. I'm gonna leave them loose so that I can adjust them once I put the thing in. Okay, that's easy enough. Yeah, just move this forward, go tighten the back down. I gotta get all this stuff out of here so we can see how it slides. Oh, hang on. We definitely wanna put the, the end caps on. Yeah, I mean, that's supposed to make it easier. <laughs> so I just uh, lowered the car down and the self-leveling suspension came on. I can hear the air compressor going and I don't hear a big leak like I was hearing before. Sorry, I should have caught the uh, leak on camera, but basically when this thing was on, it was just hissing. Um, and you can definitely tell it was coming from the right side, the passenger side, but now that's gone. I think I have dirt just all over my face. <laughs> well, that's an easy enough job. Um, once you just get those panels out of there, that's the, that's the longest, most difficult part of the whole job. Actually getting the airbag in and out, super easy, as you saw. The car's sitting a whole lot better now, so we can move on. Once again, thank you to OEMBimmerparts.com. I'm the 50s Kid. Thanks for watching.